Good afternoon, my name is Justin Abbott. I'm here at Zip Products to show you our new TAT calibration tool, part number TL182. This can be used on all aftermarket electronic TACs and the factory OEM TACs in the Corvette to set the correct RPM before you install the tachometer in the vehicle. Uh, using this tool, you will have to have a power supply of 12 volts, but you will not need to hook anything up to the TAC to the vehicle in order to calibrate it. It will allow you to do it on the bench, which I'm gonna demonstrate here for you right now. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to get some, some test leads like what I've got right here. And today, since I'm on the bench, I am using a, uh, a converter, 12 volt converter to uh, power the TAC. You can use a 12 volt battery if need be, 12 volt battery box, anything that'll supply 12 volts to it. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and set our needle to install it at zero. So what we're going to do is we are going to power our tachometer on, but not connect the green signal device. And let's make sure we got these little guys separate so they're not touching. Okay, so right now my gauge is powered on with no signal coming into it. So theoretically it should be at zero. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and place our needle and don't push down too hard on it. You don't want to, uh, to bend the shaft, but just a little bit of pressure. For right now, because we may need to pull it back off. All right, so we are going to go ahead and we are going to hook up our TL-182 gauge driver. Now I'm not going to need test leads for this because luckily for me I can hook right here up to these power leads. And as you see the gauge driver comes on. It's already set, which is the lower numbers, to a 50% duty cycle and I recommend that you leave it right there. All the functions of it will work perfectly at 50%. All right. Now, according to our instructions for the TL-182, we have several settings here. And this is where we can calibrate our tachometer at. All right, so we have our negative and power source, and then the green wire is our signal, which also matches the wires that are on the D1017. So the way this thing calculates RPM is the same way your ignition system does. It reads hertz or this outputs hertz so any hertz setting which is which is what the ignition system is or at least what the tax side of it is reading uh, will be the same no matter what so whatever this is outputting is going to read the same when it comes from your ignition system so we're going to start at 100 hertz 100 hertz should be 1500 rpms on a v8 engine it'll be 3000 on an ls all right, so as you can see, we're at about 1600 RPMs here, all right? Now, most electronic gauges in the OEM vehicles are off as much as 10%. Now, obviously we want to try to get it as correct and close as we can here. In my own vehicle, I would rather have the TAC mostly accurate or as accurate as possible at the high RPMs versus the low RPMs, okay? So 10% at 700 RPMs idling is 70 RPMs. That's not a big deal. And most of these older Corvettes have a little bit of cam in them anyways, and they're already fluctuating more than that, okay? At 6,000 RPMs, that can be as much as 600 RPMs. So if you only think you're going 6,000 RPMs on your shift and you're actually doing 6,600 RPMs, that could be life and death of your motor. So. What I'm telling you right now, when I do these tacks, is I calibrate the red line. And then I come back and set my low RPM. So, at 6,000 RPMs, we're gonna be at 400 hertz. So, as you can see, the buttons on the TL-182 allow me to adjust the hertz right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold it down and run it up to 400. And as you can see the background, you see the tack moving. So 
we can see that this tachometer was well 275 300 rpms off at 6000 rpms all right that's more than what i would like it to be less than 10 percent but more than where i want it on the red line so what we're going to do is take our little screwdriver and we're going to go into this adjusting pot and we're going to set this at 6000 rpms right there now 400 hertz will always be 6000 rpms on a v8 so you don't need to adjust this to get to 6000 we're adjusting the tack to where it reads at 400 hertz. All right, let's go back and check 100 and see where we're at. Okay, so we're about a little over 100 RPMs off. Okay, less than 10%. Quite honestly, for me, I would be just fine with that right there. Now, some people want it a little bit closer than that. So what we can try to do is you can disconnect this right here and let's give a sanity check and see if it reads zero. All right, we are reading about 75 RPMs. So what we can do here is actually pull the needle back off and reset the needle to zero. All right, this is why we didn't push it down real tight the first time. Now remember when you're doing this, you can't push in on it and turn it because it's going to go back to, to zero. You have to get the needle loose enough to where it's on zero before you push it in. All right, now we're right at zero. All right, so let's go back up to 400 hertz and see where we're at. Went a little too far past it there, but let's see how close we are. Oh man, look at that. We are right, almost right on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and adjust just a little bit. Okay, went a little too far. Now you want to try to look at this straight on. Because if you look at a little bit of an angle, it could be off just a little bit. All right, we're right on 6,000 RPMs. Now let's go back down to 100, which is 1,500 RPMs, and see where we're at. Yeah, we're a little bit less now, but we're right at about 100 RPMs. So for me, this would be just fine, and I would let it go right here. That way we're accurate on the top end and we're really close on the low end. So now that our tachometer is calibrated, it is time to go ahead and disconnect it and reinstall it into your Corvette. If there's any questions, please call your Zip salesperson. Thank you.